my ultimate chicken cacciatore. And we're gonna start off first uh, by taking a Dutch oven. I'm just gonna turn the heat on and let it start to warm up because we are gonna sear some chicken in the bottom that's with some extra virgin olive oil and we want it nice and hot so we get a really beautiful color on the chicken because we're gonna braise it. And when you braise stuff, like I always say, color equals flavor. So we definitely want it nice and brown before you start adding liquid to it. So let's start to warm up. All right, and now we're gonna put together um, a breading station for our chicken. Flour first, make sure we got enough. Got some garlic powder, oregano, and I've got a nice handful of kosher salt. Some pepper, and then we're gonna take a fork and just stir it together. Uh, just like that, looks great. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna talk about um, the wet part of our breading station. So I've got one egg, crack it right inside of our dish, and then we're gonna add about two cups of whole milk. You just wanna give it a good stir until the yolk starts to dissolve and then the milk has kind of a pale yellow color. All right, just like that, then we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of salt. All right, boom. So you got this, and right, we're gonna open it up. And before I get my hands all goopy, I'm gonna turn up the temperature just a little more. All right, then we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to the bottom of our Dutch oven here. And we're gonna let it come up to a slight smoke. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of chicken. All right, we're gonna drop it into the milk and egg mixture first. Just like this, you wanna roll it around and we're gonna drop it right into the flour. We're gonna coat it from one end to the other. And then we're gonna take it and we're just gonna shake it just like this, make sure we shake off the excess. All right, because any extra flour is gonna burn in the bottom and we want just enough to make a crust. Also, what's gonna happen once we add the tomatoes and the white wine, some of the crust is gonna to start to dissolve a little bit into the liquid and it's gonna give us a really silky, shiny sauce. It's gonna be really nice. So we're gonna drop this in. All right, it's gonna to start to cook away. I'm gonna bang out the rest of this stuff and we're gonna get it into the pan. And what we're gonna do is we're also gonna roast some red peppers. Now, red peppers are gonna get folded into uh, the chicken cacciatore once we braise it up and that sweet charred flavor is gonna be delicious. So we got a bunch of red peppers here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna season them up with some olive oil. Let's hit it with a little bit of olive oil first. So the seasoning starts to stick and then we're also gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. Nice little pinch of kosher on top and also some fresh cracked pepper. And we're gonna pop these under the broiler, um, which is a really hot surface. And we're gonna kind of cook these with like an infrared heat right on top and then we're gonna Take some tongs and kind of flip them around. You want them really charred all the way from one end to the other. Now I know what you're saying to yourself, those peppers are burnt, but they're not if you really look at them closely um, because this is the difference between a boring roasted pepper and a really beautiful roasted pepper that charred very, very well. Now what we're gonna do is pop these into a bowl and we're gonna steam them with their own heat because these things are piping hot right now. All right, we're gonna put them into a bowl and we're gonna simply wrap them up with some plastic wrap and really kind of holding that steam. See all the steam is starting to collect on the side of the bowl? Let's take a look at that, isn't it beautiful? Now it's cooked, not cooked all the way through, it's just browned really well all right, on the outside. All right, it smells absolutely delicious. What we're gonna do right now is kind of build up the braise. I'm gonna take about two anchovies and we're gonna drop them down into the bottom of the pan. All right, then we're gonna add a pinch of red chili flake. It's not enough to make it hot, just enough to really kind of wake it up a little bit. And we're just gonna start to smash in the anchovy. All right, the anchovy's almost gonna dissolve into the hot olive oil. All right, cool. The next one we're gonna throw in here are some capers. And we're looking at, what is that? Three tablespoons, maybe a quarter cup. All right, we're gonna drop some capers in here. We'll just start to fry it too. Now we've got some really good flavors here. I've got some fresh tomato that we're gonna add. I've got some garlic. I've got an onion. I've also got some lemon. Now what we're gonna do with the tomatoes is we're gonna rough chop the tomatoes and everything else we're gonna slice as thin as possible so it really starts to melt into the flavor and it's gonna be great. We're gonna take these chunky tomatoes, we're gonna throw them right into the olive oil. We're gonna throw all these guys in and then we're gonna add the onion, the really thin slices of lemon, I'm gonna rake everything up, throw it into the pot, turn the heat up, all right? And this stuff is gonna cook down. It's gonna almost look like a vegetable pulp before we throw the chicken back into it. And then we're gonna braise it with a little bit of white wine, a little bit of chicken stock, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so you got that? That's starting to do its job. And the last thing we're gonna fold in, kind of a hero of the dish, all these beautiful roasted peppers. 
all right, that we charred under the broiler in the oven, and they're so nice and sweet and really fragrant. I'm gonna put these into the pot, and then we'll give it one more stir. All right, make sure everybody's singing the same song here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken, and we're gonna tuck it back into the pot here. All right, the chicken's not cooked all the way through, it's just kind of browned really well on either side. And we're gonna take all the stuff and we're just gonna kind of nestle it into the pot with all this flavor. And then we're gonna braise this with some beautiful liquids. I'm gonna turn my pan up about two cups of some good wine right into the pot and also some chicken stock. And that's a great thing if you enjoy you know, a nice glass of wine. If you put the cork on it and make sure you put it back in the fridge, even if it's just a little bit, you can really pull a lot of fresh flavor with white wine and red wine. All right, so we got enough chicken stock just to hit the top of the chicken, and that's it. Now what we're gonna do, turn the temperature up, let it come to a simmer, and let this simmer for about 20 minutes with the lid on. All right, just like that. And not on completely, kind of off to a little tilt, because we want this, uh, a lot of the liquid to evaporate and leave this really lush sauce wrapped around the chicken. So what we're gonna do is gonna hook this up family style, one big platter, something for everybody. If you're a wing man, cool. If you're a leg man, cool. Something for everybody, we're gonna to toss everything around top. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of the sauce. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is what chicken cacciatore is all about. This is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're gonna take a whole spoon, it's gonna put a little more of the sauce right on top. Boom, isn't that beautiful? All right, a little more cheese. I'm gonna hit with some fresh basil. How beautiful is that? 